So the way I set this up is I bolt my winch to the trailer and then in order to power it I ran jumper cables from the truck battery all the way back to the winch. Now I don't recommend doing this. Normally I use a battery and hook that up to the winch and that works pretty good as long as your battery is charged. On the end of the cable, I hooked up two tow straps, which ran underneath the log and attached to the trailer frame. And I was hoping that this would that this would make the log more stable as it rolled up the ramps. Alright guys, so here I am back home with this load of cherry logs. I'm just going to be slabbing them to live edge slabs. That's what the guy wanted. So the deal is I just cut them and he gets half the wood. So this tree actually came out of somebody's yard that we did a roof on their house this past fall. In case you guys didn't know, I am part owner in a roofing company. So that's how I got hooked up with these nice cherry logs. Anyway, it's getting kind of late here. So I'm going to unload those. Anyway, that's it for today, but if you haven't seen any of my videos on how to get logs for your sawmill, I'll drop a link to those. Make sure to go check that out, and in there I share tips on how I get logs for my sawmill. So, thanks for watching. I'm out.